sit in the company determines how we buy. Hello, my name is Greg Story. I'm the president of Dale Kenny Training here in Japan. If we are the financial buyer, user buyer, technical buyer, or the executive buyer, our viewpoint on the purchase will be quite different. If we're the technical buyer, then we really want to know about the spec. Is this actually going to deliver the spec we want, the specifications we want? Is this going to be compliant with what we need to be doing? Is this going to be standard for what we need? So we're going to be looking for those sorts of details very, very carefully. If we're the user buyer, then we're interested. Is this thing easy to use? Will it be functional? Does it need a lot of training to use it? Can anyone use it? How much after sales support is there if something goes wrong? Who can I call if it doesn't work properly? These are the sorts of things from a user buyer's point of view they want to know. If it's the financial buyer, usually the CFO, okay, what's this going to do about impact on cash flow in this particular month? Uh, will this be an asset that we can then put in the balance sheet? Uh, we'll treat that a different way. Uh, what will this relative cost be according to what we normally pay for this? And how can I force the price down? How can I shave something off this? How can I give this a haircut so it costs us less money because I'm driven by trying to save money? If I'm the CEO, if I'm the executive buyer, then I'm probably interested in the strategy. How will this help me take the company to where we need to go? I've got a strategy, I have a vision, I see where we need to get to. How will this take us along that route? So as a salesperson, we need to know where they're sitting inside the company in terms of how we're going to talk. Now, the worst person you can meet is called the purchasing officer. That person is impervious to anything. They have a basic, they have a, a matrix. And down one side, they have the names of the suppliers. And down the bottom or the top, they have the pricing. And they're sort of looking in that match of, OK, uh, if it's this much here, it's that much there, we'll go here because it's cheaper. They don't know about quality. They don't know about the value because they're just working off simple numbers. Nightmare. To deal with. When I hear the words, yeah, it's going to our purchasing officer, I start to feel heart palpitation straight away. Oh, here we go. What you really need then is someone inside the company to go and talk to the purchasing officer and say, yes, this is a higher price, but it's much higher value. We should buy this one. If you don't have that, purchasing officers will just look for the lowest price. They don't think about quality. They don't think about what's the best for the company, what's the lowest price. So purchasing officer don't like dealing with those people. They're here in plenty in Japan. But look for your champion to go and work on the purchasing officer to really alert them to all the good things you've got going in terms of value. So when we're talking to people, if it's the user buyer, we have to emphasize ease of use. If it's the technical buyer, we have to talk about the spec is right on, right on track. If it's the financial buyer, we've got to talk about this is not going to damage the cash flow. This is something maybe we can amortize the payments. This is really good value. It's going to produce more income, so actually it's free. The cost of this is going to be paid for by the growth. It's actually zero cost to the company. And as the executive buyer, yes, this will help you get the vision going, get you to the point you want to take the company. This will work to help you. So depending on where they sit in the company, we have better adjust how we approach our sales explanation to the buyer. And if we do that, we will make a lot more sales and we will be a lot more successful.